For the past century, an ugly chapter in Tulsa, Oklahoma's history has remained buried underground and largely kept out of the public conversation. The greatest cover-up of an event that has ever occurred in this country. For Julius Pegues and fellow Tulsa residents who gathered day. together recently, bringing the 1921 Tulsa race massacre fully to the surface is long overdue. We are not proposing exhumation at this time. It's past time, many argue, to account for the victims of the bloodshed who died in the so called Black Wall Street area of the city. That work could soon start here. Black Wall Street refers to Greenwood Avenue right behind me. This was a thriving area of business and culture in the early 1900s, a self-contained black economy out of necessity because of the racism of that time. The events of May 31st and June 1st, 1921 changed all that. A white mob sparked by rumors of an assault by a black man on a white woman began shooting other blacks and looting businesses. You just had chaos. They were burning people's homes and burning buildings. The bullets were just raining down over us. Eldoris McCondichie was nine years old at the time. Survivors said hundreds of black residents died, bodies thrown into open graves. So it's this whole area right here, it's, it's pretty large. This past we, we fall, archaeologist Scott Hammerstead went to Tulsa's Oaklawn Cemetery and with the help of ground penetrating radar, found a seven by nine meter section of disturbed soil. The size of it, the, how straight the sides of it, the, the walls of it were and the depth of it is what makes us think that it may be a mass grave. The only thing that's suspicious about it is there aren't any other headstones anywhere near it. On that fateful day. Brenda Alford's relatives narrowly escaped the massacre. She's now helping lead an effort to dig up that portion of the cemetery. Because I feel like in some ways I'm standing in their stead to be their voice in this day and time regarding what they didn't talk about. This stuff actually happened. Robert Turner is pastor of historic Vernon AME Church, which was rebuilt after it was burned to the ground in 1921. He says the push for answers could provide solace to families who may not have known their loved ones died this way. Oh, man. It would be huge for the families. Turner says it could also bring a measure of accountability. The perpetrators were so despicable, they even got rid of the bodies as evidence. Who did this to these Americans? Exploratory excavation could begin this spring. Potential grave sites elsewhere are also being explored. The search for truth and justice is finally very public here. It's closure and healing as best can happen after all this time. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Tulsa, Oklahoma.